guys, it's Bianca and today I have been painting. I don't know about you, but I've been really obsessed with the Lily Pulitzer prints. So today I decided to show you guys how I painted this really popular Lily Pulitzer floral print. I'm really happy with how it turned out. It's actually really easy to paint. It's easier than I thought. So if you want to know how I painted this, just keep on watching. Okay, so first thing you're going to need is a blank canvas. A set of paint brushes, make sure they're different sizes. Some of mine are pointy and one of them is thick with a flat top. You also need a paper or plastic plate where you can mix your paint in and a cup of water where you can rinse your brushes in. You'll also need some acrylic paint, I'm just using primary colours because they're cheaper and you can always mix them to achieve your desired colours. You'll also need a printed copy of the Lily Pulitzer print, this will just serve as a guide or basis for your painting. And you also need some newspaper to protect the surface you're going to be working on. And once you have all the things you need, we can get started. First thing you're going to do is set up your materials so they're easy and comfortable to work with. Once you are all sorted, you can start painting. So here I'm pointing at which colour I'm going to be starting with. And I'm starting with one of the lighter pink shades. To achieve that colour, I mix some red and some white paint. As you can see, it's turning pink. By the way, I'm just using one of the thicker pointy brushes here. Then right here, I added a little bit more of the white paint to get a little lighter. You can add some red if you want it darker or some white if you want it lighter. I just mixed that in and when I was happy with the colour, I dabbed the excess paint off my brush and I started painting. I started with small C-shaped brush strokes to create the flower shape and then I filled in the canvas with the flowers. They don't need to be evenly spaced out, it's okay if the flowers are not perfect. Some of the flowers I did were also cut off on the side of the canvas just to achieve a more similar pattern. As you can see I fell a little bit on that corner one but I was able to fix it. And then I went on with one of the darker pink shades. To my existing paint I added a little bit of red to make that a darker pink shade. Still using the same thick pointy brush, I filled in some of the white spaces within the flower with a dark pink shade. And then I decided that I needed to add a lighter pink colour, lighter than the first one, to add some dimension to the flowers, so I added some white paint to my existing pink paint. I went pretty generous with the lightest pink shade. And then after that, I added the last and darkest pink shade to the flowers. I added a good amount of red to my existing pink paint and using the thinnest brush, I drew thinner strokes onto the flowers. Once I was done with that, I rinsed off my brushes so they are fresh and ready for the next colours. And now we're on to the leaves. To create the yellow green colour, I mixed in some blue and yellow paint and then I added some white to get it a little lighter. Sorry about the lighting here, it's been crazy weather here in New Zealand. I mean, it's dark and then it's light again. But anyway, once I was happy with the yellow green color, I started painting the leaves. I just did a few of them around the flowers. Then again, to my existing green paint, I added a little bit of blue to get a darker green shade. I adjusted it with some yellow paint until I got the color that I wanted. Using a thinner and pointier brush, I painted some of the darker green on the leaves to give the leaves some dimension. And then I went on and created an even darker green shade with the blue paint and using a thinner and pointier brush, I added the darker green paint onto the leaves. Then voila, the leaves are done. Then using the thickest brush with a flat top, I mixed in some blue and white paint to achieve the background colour. I added in a bit of yellow to give it a bit of a green tone because we want that um, turquoisey blue colour. And then once I was happy with the colour, I filled in the white spaces but make sure that you leave the white spaces within the flowers because we want to leave that dimension within the flowers. And then after that, you are done. And here's what the final product looks like. So that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Also, please leave a comment below on what you would like to see next. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And yeah, I hope you guys have a nice day. And I'll see you on my next video. Bye!